Hey everybody, uh, I thought I'd go ahead and take a look at uh, problems like problem two uh, and might be problem four as well on the assignment, I think, which is asking you to draw and label. Uh, drawing and labeling is, is a practice that is really important in this case to be able to know what you're analyzing. Uh, and so I'll take just a moment to go ahead and put this together and, and show you kind of how we can kind of put the circuit as a, as a whole on the page uh, in a, a schematic. And then how do we draw kind of where the labels seem to fit for the different pieces? So that's what we're going to do on this one. So this is question two from the assignments. Um, hopefully this is helpful to go through and, and check what you've got. So it starts out and it says, draw a circuit with one battery and three resistors in series. So if I've got one battery and three resistors in series, I'm going to start out by drawing the battery itself. So my battery can be drawn in lots of different ways, uh, but it, it needs to be a long line on top and a short line on the bottom. I could do more than that. This is also a battery, uh, no different than the other one. Uh, it doesn't matter how many lines you have, this is what you've got. So I'm going to put that battery then in series with three different resistors. And it really doesn't matter where those resistors go. It could go on the three different lines of a rectangular loop that's here, uh, or you could put them all on the same line, but it does mean that they have to be one right after the other. And they do need to show as these kind of squiggly lines or uh, zigzags, right? Uh, the length of the zigzag doesn't matter how many zigzags you go up and down, it doesn't matter, uh, as long as you've got your zigzag. And then it comes back together again. So I have now, uh, my series circuit that has three resistors in it. Next, it tells me to label the resistors R1, R2, and R3. So I'm going to go ahead and do that here. This is R1, uh, R2, and R3. So I've labeled my three resistors. It says label the voltage across the battery and each of the resistors. So I've got three different voltages here. So the way that you draw voltage, and this is important, is that you need to actually test it in two different places, right? When we had the, the virtual circuit construction stuff, you had a kind of a meter um, that had a, a digital display that was on it. And then these two wires that came out of the bottom that went to these two probes. Uh, one probe was red and the other probe was black. And the only way to get a number in here meant that you actually had to touch both probes uh, to two different places uh, in your on your circuit itself. So we actually have to do a test between two different spots. So the way that we show that typically is we would say, I'm going to test between here and here. And I want to know what the voltage is between there and there. And so I'm going to do and draw this with a couple lines that are out here. And the voltage between there and there, we would call um, the overall or V, right? So you could put a circle around it if you want to. You could leave it just in between there. That works just fine. But this is kind of a voltmeter showing you where I'm taking the voltage between the two different locations. Same thing then goes true on this side, where I'm going to kind of connect in between these two locations. And this would be V1, because we're talking about uh, R1 down there. And since this is R2, we can connect this up and say this is V2 between those two locations. And then last but not least, this is your voltage between these two places. So this would be V3 between there. All right. So now I've got my original circuit that's there. I've put in my resistances and I've dropped in my, my voltages. And again, you can choose to put a circle around it or you can just write it in between. I'm going to keep it consistent with all three of those. So I've got my voltages between those points. Last but not least, it says label the overall current um, in the loop itself. Now, because I have different colors, it's easier for me to choose those colors. Uh, there's lots of different ways to show current, uh, but know that the current is the same everywhere, right? Going in this kind of this direction. Uh, and so I might go ahead and put it in here with an I with a current in the middle showing the current as a whole. Uh, sometimes people instead kind of draw the current out here. So you have an idea of this is what the current is doing, right? And it's the same everywhere. So the current is flowing around here the same 
everywhere. There's lots of different ways to show current, however you like to show it yourself, but it is a single loop, right, that goes through, and each of those arrows is indicating the exact same current through all of its different components. So hopefully that's helpful, and uh, that's how you sketch a circuit uh, that is three resistors in, pair, excuse me, in series with one battery uh, and all of the different parts that you need. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.